My name is Zach Spiegel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Usually our channel talks about spiritual things, talk about life issues and things like that, and answer questions about the Bible. But today we're going to be talking about Mercury. I know this is completely not what our channel is all about. But the thing is, we have this men's discipleship home. Uh, we help men overcome drug and alcohol addictions. And uh, we were doing some renovations and I found this Mercury light switch. And I just thought it would be pretty cool today to show you how to extract Mercury from a light switch. Leviton, one of those Leviton Mercury switches. Now, I didn't show you this part, but I already took it apart. So, but I got down to these pieces that are these little things right here. See right there? Boom. Now, these things right here, they are a little bit difficult to get into, but they have two of them. There's two of these in that switches. There's another one. I'm gonna show you guys how to get these, get the mercury out of these things. Take off your gold rings because this stuff right here likes to bond with gold. It's a good way to ruin your ring. First, you need a vice grip. Lift Lucy, right tidy. <laughs> and you get your your piece here. I don't even know what this is called, but you can shake it and you can feel the mercury sloshing around in there. I've already done it to one of them. This one's open already. And you can see, I got my mercury in there. Now I tried it this differently last time. I might do this one slightly different to see how I did this one. I'm gonna bust it on the other side. There's a little lip on this thing. So instead of going through the lip, I'm gonna go through the back side because I found it was like a bunch of porcelain or plastic or something that was uh, on the other side. And I'm making my mercury really dirty. So get one of these. Boom shakalaka. I'm cutting a little notch out of it. Cause this stuff is just liquid. I get a trash can to catch all the metal pieces you're cu you're cutting off of here. You know, you don't want to get a bunch of metal in here <clears throat> on the floor. You have the kids walk in here and step on it or something. I think I finally poked a hole in the middle. In the middle. Now I just gotta get a tool back there to pry this open. Try not to crack that little porcelain thing because it makes it hard, it makes it dirty. It just makes it dirty. All right, now it's liquid. So it should just pour right out. Boom. See that? See the mercury in there? There's your mercury. Pretty simple. Yeah, it was a lot faster than the last time I did. <laughs> and that's how you extract mercury out of a Leviton switch. And also, keep in mind if you want to if you want to clean up your your mercury, you might notice that there's a little bit of film or dust in there. There's, you just put the the mercury down inside the jar, okay? Fill it up with water a little bit, 
and then it'll uh, it'll help separate. You just kind of wash your mercury and get the dust and particles out. Then you take a paper towel and then you just kind of just kind of dip it in there to dry out the water and get some of the, that material out of there. And the paper towel will soak up the water, but it will not soak up the mercury. And then you'll find that it's a little bit more shiny and everything. It's safe to handle. I, a lot of people think mercury will just kill you, but it's not going to kill you. There's parts of it that are harmful. There's different, um, if it's in like different forms. I, I'm not a chemist, so don't, don't quote me or nothing. But in this form right here, ele elemental mercury in, in a liquid form, it's not going to be very harmful for you. You don't want to drink it. You don't want to have too much. You don't want to play with it too much because it can be harmful. But they even say what the problem really is, is not the actual touching it. It's the, it's the vapors that come up from it. And they used to put it in like, you know, makeup and things like that and put it inside, make them put it on their face and extended use would cause people to go mad. So like, hence the Mad Hatter. We don't want to, uh, you know, be excessive in our use of it. So, um, cause you can't be harmful over long term use, but it's kind of like smoking a cigarette. Smoking one cigarette doesn't kill you, but when you smoke a bunch of them, it can kill you. You're gonna do some harmful things to you. So anyway, if you like this video, like, share it and uh, subscribe to our, our channel.